Welcome to Podcast Movement 2023. Okay, so hi everyone. Thank you so, so much for joining this uh, next-gen podcasting track. So happy to have you, uh, have you there and welcome to this masterclass, uh, Boost Your Podcast. With the OSHA team, we gathered you the 10 actionable acts you need to know when it comes to uh, podcast growth and audience engagement. Uh, but first of all, I'm just going to have a few words so that you understand why, uh, why at OSHA we are the go-to experts when it comes to audience engagement. So what I could say to be fair is that we are quite obsessed about uh, podcast growth and we are talking about that like from sunrise to sunset. And this is why we built OSHA, the all-in-one podcasting platform you need uh, to launch and boost your podcast. Unlimited hosting, distribution, podcast marketing, analytics, monetization, everything. Um, and actually, I could talk uh, about OSHA for hours. But what I propose is that we fast forward with a 30 second video. And this is it. Welcome to Osha. Osha is coming. And this is it. Okay, and now that you are more familiar with my favorite podcasting app in the world, I would say, uh, let me just introduce myself. So I'm Sarah. Um, I'm from France, from Paris, actually. And at OSHA, I'm your head of uh, customer success. And with the customer success team, we empower and support uh, OSHA podcaster to uh, boost their show. And actually, fun fact, before uh, joining OSHA, I was myself a OSHA podcaster, so it has been quite a journey from being a OSHA podcaster to support all of uh, our OSHA podcaster. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, and so, yes, it's because I love to meet podcasters. I'm having, like, the best day in my life. And so, as I would love to meet um, all of you personally, we only have like 30 minutes, so I'm going to share like just a few questions so that I can understand who you are and meet you in a look. So, ready? Who already has a podcast? Raise your hand. Congrats, congrats. Wonderful for that. Who is thinking about launching a podcast? Okay, sending you also a lot of good vibes, big moments. Who is like familiar with uh, communication tools and channels? Okay, and really be sure I will do my best. This, will, this won't be like a marketing lecture. This will be like really simple with actionable acts, even though you don't have like uh, uh, skills in communication. We are only here for your podcast growth. And finally, who is excited as I am to be there at Pond Move today? Woo Love the energy. <laughs> Um, okay, so now that we know uh, each, of our, each, um, each other a bit more, uh, I suggest that we dive in to our uh, top, top 10 acts. And actually, how did we manage to identify those top, top 10 acts? Sorry. Um, so, fact is, like, and you may know it, there are like um, millions of podcasts out there. So it's not like that easy to stand out from the crowd. And actually, even though we are a content creator, we need to become audience creator as well. This is why at OSHA, uh, we built uh, the listener journey model. So it's basically a roadmap to turn your first time listener into dedicated fans. And so uh, this model is made of four steps. Discovery, you want like people find you. Activation, stand out from the crowd. Uh, play, you want to be in the here of your, of your listener, and love, obviously. You want to build an engaged community of ambassadors around your podcasts. So, let's dive in. First, discovery. And here is my first tip. You need to be on every podcasting platform. 
like um, you may don't know it, but actually one third of listener don't listen to the podcast on Apple and Spotify. Beyond big names, there are so much more podcasting platforms. And actually, you need to meet yourself, your uh, listener, as they will never download a new app to listen to your show. So be on every, on every platform. And again, I have been there as a content creator. I know that sometimes distribution may sound like a bit technical. So this is why at OSHA, we provide you a very easy to use distribution dashboard so that in a few clicks, you are everywhere. And then you switch back, you switch back, back sorry, to, um, to creating content, which is what you love. Then you need to extend your reach and don't uh, rely only on a listening uh, platform. And so you also uh, will need to get a website uh, for your podcast, um, as uh, Google being like the uh, go-to search engine for 92% of global population, it's really key for you to appear also on the search, visual, re search results of a uh, search engine. Uh, because actually, uh, you also want uh, at the moment to meet those people who will be interested in your content, but are not listening to podcasts at the moment. You, you can be the very first podcast uh, of your uh, new listener and imagine the story, the love story that this will create with your own podcast. And this is also why at OSHA, when you host your, your show on OSHA, we generate for you an SEO-friendly website for your show. And then, as I am quite, quite obsessed about reach, you need to extend your reach even wider and being also on YouTube, which is actually the second largest uh, search engine. And uh, you may feel it here at PodMove. Um, YouTube is really like, and video podcasting is so much more uh, being a thing. And also with uh, YouTube, YouTube launching a, a lot of features, um, it's the moment for you to also have uh, your uh, podcast on video. But that being said, I really, want you to remember that you don't need to have like the perfect video setup. Done is better than perfect. Just publish the audio of your show on YouTube. Actually, one YouTube listener out of two will never look at the video. So start simple by publishing uh, the, the, the audio of uh, your, uh, your show on YouTube. And by the way, with OSHA, we have the one-click distribution uh, on YouTube. So we turn your audio into a, a video with uh, the brand identity and the info of your show. And so we are done with the, act, with the first part, the discovery, and we are going to switch to activation. Now that they know you, how do you do to activate those people, those future listeners? First, you want to make a good impression, and you know what they say, you only have one chance to make a good first impression. And how do you can make like the first best first impression for your listener? Two things. They need like to get in one look the universe of your podcast, and they also need to be sure again and again, I told it before, that your show is on all the listening platform and especially the platform they love. And so you need basically a very simple but um, inspiring uh, landing page, such as the OSHA Smart Link, where people will be able to uh, go to their favorite platform, and it's the magic follow button. Also, if you want to activate people who discovered you, obviously, social media are key. Actually, this is the, most, the second most common way uh, in which uh, people discover new podcasts. So you need to be uh, on socials. And one tip that I give, because I know it's not that easy to know what to publish when started a, pod a podcast. And so what you can do is basically publishing a video teaser for each episode you release. Like you, you extract the most powerful, like 30 seconds of your episode, and you publish it uh, on your socials. And with OSHA, actually, we integrated a, a clip video maker in the platform so that you just publish the episode and you switch to the promotion parts and create, in just a few clicks, 
uh, a video teaser. And by the way, pro tip, when creating a, a video teaser, you really need to add subtitles. Vast majority of Instagram users are scrolling Instagram on mute. So yes, podcasting is audio, but pod podcast marketing is really not only audio. And now that they know you a bit more, how can we do to make sure those listeners hit the play button? First of all, the metadata. To be honest, I think that it's one of my favorite podcasting topic. I'm quite obsessed with metadata. In my personal opinion, this is a bit, um, I would say, like underrated. Because when we think about podcast marketing, we are like, what can I do on socials? Do I uh, start a newsletter? Uh, what can I do for PRs? But really, the marketing of your podcast starts from your podcast. The most powerful title, the most intriguing description, this is the beginning of the marketing strategy of your show. And actually, if I can leave you with a, a, a few tips on that, it's like the very first sentence of your description is key. It's like kind of a second title. And I know that sometimes we are like, uh, description, no one is reading. But actually, the first sentence uh, is seeable like in the podcasting, um, in the podcasting feed, uh, when listeners have uh, the notification of a new release of an episode. So this is really key. And also for the title, make it simple, make it short, um, straight to the point. It's not like uh, the title is not there like to you know, classify um, your episode. So saying this is episode one, episode two. Like I know as podcasters, we're like really obsessed with ranking everything. Actually, just a few words, no episode in it, where you are sharing why, why it's important to press, to press the play button. And pro tip as well is that using ChatGPT as a, a big help to be inspired for your uh, metadata, because I know it's kind of a big word to do. And hopefully on OSHA, you may find very soon an integration with ChatGPT, but I thought you nothing. Then, also, that being said, you uh, need to build a strong partnership for your podcast and from day one. I've been there, I felt it. Sometimes it sounds like I don't have an ecosystem around my podcast, I know no one. Actually, from day zero, you have an ecosystem around your podcast based on the values, on the topic of your show. You can reach out to other bloggers, other podcasters uh, that are addressing the same topics or that are targeting the same audience. Don't be afraid like, to reach out, reach out, reach out, and start co-marketing strategies from day one. This is really key. And hopefully, I wish you to be featured in the pod news uh, in, in the next uh, weeks, months, for, uh, during your podcasting journey. And finally, love. How do we turn our listener into a very engaged community of ambassador? The best advertising for your show are your listener themselves. They will be the best person to talk about uh, your podcast and activate word of mouth. And so, first of all, uh, a tip of mine, uh, as I've been a, a content creator for uh, four years before joining OSHA, is to invite them backstage. People want to know who you are. Something that I always love to say is like, okay, they come for your content, but they stay for you. So it's really key to show them who is behind the mic, what is uh, like to, to have like your, uh, your, your podcasting journey. Um, and I know, uh, as a content creator, that. Every time I was posting like a, a story on my Instagram account, like sharing what were my challenges uh, in the podcasting journey, my struggle, I would say, like the very, the very next days, I was noticing uh, like listening and download speaks on my OSHA uh, analytics interface. Because people love the most, it's where we are sincere, when they understand who is the content creator they listen to. Oh or uh, the, the content creator they are about to listen to. And that being said, I know that it's not that easy because we are having so many jobs as a content creator. And so 
what you need is to help yourself with a social media manager, a social media solution to be sure to save time, don't create an account on everything, uh, need to, needing to log in on everything. And this is why, to save you this precious time that we integrated in OSHA, what we call the social media manager. So that's uh, just after, after publishing or scheduling the episode, you can switch very easily and just in a few clicks on your marketing and social strategy to promote the incoming episodes. Let's have a look. Welcome to Tips, Osha's podcast that gives you all the key tips to launch and boost the growth of your podcast. And as you may have seen it, directly from OSHA, you will get all the social data of your sharings. Everything directly into OSHA. Then, social medias are key. We said that before, but you want to create a more personal relationship with your listener. Actually, building is an, an audience. It's kind of another relationship. And there is a, a, a marketing tool that I love. It's the newsletter. Because actually, you can create like you know a really special link with each of your um, of your listener, and I encourage you to like do things that don't scale and uh, ask a lot of questions to your audience in your newsletter. Who are they? How did they come to discover your podcast? What are they expecting for you ne from your next episodes? Create special and personal link and ask them ask them questions. And by the way. There are more and more um, followed show on all the listening apps. So, you know, uh, listening apps notifications are so crowded. It's really powerful to have a newsletter so that you can really hone the notification you give to your listener when you release a new episode. And you can do that also with OSHA, but you start to get it. And finally, private content. The the, the ultimate stage, I would say. It's like, if you want like, to create a, a special relationship with your podcasting community, you need to make your listener feel like they are special, and they are special, they are special. So, what's, uh, what uh, a tool uh, most special than private and exclusive contents? I would say that it's the best. Like you can create, uh, you know, like more intimate episodes only available for a dedicated uh, audience. You can uh, create best of that you only want to share to your most engaged community. Actually, private content are key, and this is why at OSHA we obviously support uh, private content. And to share with you a little my story as a content creator, actually I must confess. That's, that I joined OSHA as a, as a podcaster, as a user, for this feature. Because actually, I, I was a media creator, and I wanted to start like a more exclusive content for my community. So I used uh, the uh, OSHA feature, the unlisted episodes, to uh, give to my most engaged community special content. And actually, that was so powerful then uh, a few months after that, I also launched a membership, a paying membership for my community uh, based on this uh, private uh, content directly uh, hosted and distributed from OSHA. So yes, it's the ultimate stage also for our audience engagement because actually I managed with private content, private content to monetize also my audience. And by applying all of those strategies, by using the expensive toolkit that is OSHA, we have seen in our podcaster uh, an audience growth of 30% this year. And this is based on our more than 10,000 podcasts hosted by us. So this is really the audience growth that I wish for you guys in the next few months. Okay. 
are you still happy to be here today and excited to uh, launch all of, this, uh, all of these strategies? Yeah, love the energy. Okay, so I was so happy to uh, meet you guys today. And this is only the beginning of PodMove. If you want like, to start to apply those strategies, go to osha.co, create a free account. You will be able to host your first episode for free for life. You will be also able to import sorry, your existing show. Uh, so you need to connect on osha.co and create a few accounts. And also, as we are obsessed with podcast growth, we want to help you guys with uh, precious content. This is why uh, we have a YouTube channel where my colleague, also Sarah, uh, is giving you all of her tip to uh, launch and boost your podcast. And if you are more uh, a podcast listener, you may be. We also have tips, which is our podcast with the OSHA team. We give each week new tip to help you um, grow your show and be successful in your podcasting journey. Let's just discover one audio teaser of tips. Hello and welcome to Tips, the podcast from OSHA that gives you all the key tips to launch and boost your podcast. I'm Sarah, OSHA's U.S. Podcast Ambassador, and this week I'm going to try and answer a question that we get asked a lot here at OSHA. What should be the ideal length of your podcast episode? Oof. Yeah, big question. You should uh, listen to this episode to know more, obviously. Hashtag teaser. And so... Thank you, guys. This is it. We have a few minutes left for questions, but thank you so, so, so much for being there today. Thank you so much for your energy. Thank you, guys. And I think Jack is uh, like spreading the mic. If someone has a question, raise your hand. OK. Do you have US support? Sorry? Uh, do you have US support? Like, how is support? Is it a phone? Is it just email? Uh, Sir, if you, if you need support with, with the uh, company. I, I can't hear the question, I'm sorry. Yeah, so sorry about that. I, I don't manage to hear the question. If you need support, yeah. how do you contact the company? Is it phone, email, and is there US support? Yeah, obviously, there is. Uh, actually, I'm the head of customer success, so it's kind of my thing to build uh, like the best support team. Uh, and I'm really proud to, to share with you that I don't want to brag, but we have a satisfaction rate of 98%. And so, yes, um, I'm really pleased to have a, a new US-based uh, CSM, uh, Lauren. I'm sure you will meet her very soon. And you can reach out to her. Uh, by using the chat that is available when you log into OSHA, or uh, you can write to us at any time at hello at osha.co. It's .co and not .com, be careful. So yes, you can directly like say hello Sarah, hello Lauren in your email, and we will know it. And actually, uh, Miriam and Maud, who are more for uh, uh, our French podcaster, will be so excited to talk to US podcaster as well. So you can drop names everyone in the team. Thank you so much for your question. Is there like other questions about it? I, I think, yeah. All right. Is it possible to use Alsha just for the social media analytics as well, or do you need to host the podcast on the platform? Um, actually, you will need to host your show on OSHA uh, because this is the only way for us to get all the analytics uh, of your show, actually. It's more of a technical reason. So you will need um, to like, host your show on OSHA, and then you will get like, access to all the features, uh, including uh, advanced analytics, such as demographic, completion, I know that those analytics are key for us, uh, content creator. So yes, you will need to host your show on OSHA. But you can, if you already have a show, you can uh, import your existing show on OSHA in just a few clicks. And we can help you with my team to do so, obviously. Thanks. Thank you.
Is there other question? And actually, if you are thinking of questions later, you can uh, reach out to me at the OSHA booth. Um, and we will be so excited to meet you with the OSHA team, with Jen, with Odile, with Maxim, that you may have already met. Thank you. Thank you so much.